Right. Well, October marks Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It is the second most common cancer among women in the U.S. behind some kinds of skin cancer, according to the CDC. So Dr. Consorte with Overlake Medical Center joins us live in studio with some important tips for early detection and lowering your risk. Thank you so much for being with us here, doctor. Thanks for having me. Yeah, this is a big topic, and it seems to be talked about a lot, especially in the Pacific Northwest. Who are at most risk for developing breast cancer here? In our communities? Well, um, I have to say, on top of the women who have obvious genetic mutations, right. uh, which could predispose them to getting breast cancer, I think clinicians across the United States use a risk assessment model called the Tyra Cusick Risk Assessment Model, and that takes into account a woman's estrogen exposure. Uh, her family history, if she's ever had a breast biopsy that shows any atypia. And then what's interesting in that risk assessment model, it also takes into density of her breasts on mammography. So um, any woman with a greater than 20% risk on that risk assessment model is at risk for developing breast cancer. And I have to say the the statistics for an African-American woman diagnosed with breast cancer being 40 times more likely to succumb to mortality from her breast cancer. Given that statistic, I would urge these women to get annual mammograms. Yeah, it's something everyone should do. We should not put off. I've had several friends put it off because of COVID and the pandemic, and then they come back to find that they do have it. Now, Overlake uh, just launched a high-risk cancer surveillance center. Tell us more about that and what it's doing for women out here in the community. Yes, yeah, so this clinic was launched August 1st. And it's not just breast cancer, but it's a person who's predisposed to many different types of cancer. Uh, so um, these people are genetically tested. If they do have a genetic mutation or if their tyrocusic model shows that they're at a greater than 20% lifetime risk for breast cancer or they have a strong family history, they're admitted to that clinic. That clinic is overseen by our nurse practitioner, uh, Patricia Mathis, and she's doing a great job about referring these patients to subspecial, subspecialists who can help with risk reduction surgery um, and also having strong conversations with um, people that are at risk about lifestyle modifications, things that they can yeah. do to help prevent breast cancer and other types of cancer. Right. And what do you say to people out there who just don't go because they're scared? They're scared of knowing, they're scared of not knowing, they're scared of the exam. It's really not a bad exam once you go in. It's definitely necessary. Yes. I I mean, I've heard of all kinds of excuses. Their radiation exposure, I have to say, the radiation that they get from having a mammogram is the same as flying from Seattle to New York. Okay. It's the same amount of radiation. So Good it's not the radiation yeah. argument. Um, it, the pain, um, I have the patients say, oh, it, it hurts so much. The mammogram paddles, there's special paddles they can use now to help help ease their comfort if they're afraid of that. Um, and the biggest thing and the hugest thing is early detection saves lives. And if a cancer is found at four millimeters, it's essentially curable 100% right. of the time, much better than finding a cancer when it, the patient has node positive disease, advanced breast cancer. All great information out there and good reminders as we get into Breast uh, Awareness Month here. Dr. Consorte, thank you so much for being with us here today on Good Day Seattle. You're welcome. Thank you for having us. Thank